Okay. So we're just going to head across the beach. Looking bird over there. Thunderbird. some trouble uh, finding a spot to actually uh, prompt the, the cell phone up and stuff so I'm gonna do this update one-handedly uh, so we made it to Dominical um, I know I haven't done an update for a few days on the whole trip uh, the first day what, two days ago uh, me and Sarah were super gung-ho and we were ready to go and uh, what's I call tackle the waterfalls out in uh, Montezuma however we woke up to ridiculous rain so we pretty much didn't even leave the house we just uh, cleaned everything up and all that stuff and then um, by oh, by like 11 a.m. it stopped raining so we kind of we, we still ended up going to Montezuma because we had to pick up some groceries like some food and stuff like that so we we went out there anyways and we came back it was just a quiet day and then uh, what's it called yesterday we finally left Montezuma uh, well, Kabuya and Montezuma uh, it's actually very <laughs> it was really really fun because uh, we were up at 5 a.m. we finished packing all our stuff uh, caught the bus uh, to Montezuma. We got to Montezuma and then we actually ended up hanging out for an hour and a half and then we took a boat across to Hako which saved us probably about I'm gonna say four or five hours from travel from taking uh, I mean it, it was really really cool to take the bus from uh, Punta Arenas like take the ferry uh, cause, sorry we took the bus from Hako up to Punta Arenas, took the ferry across, and then bused it all the way down to Kabuya. So, uh, anyways, I don't regret that. That was super awesome. It was really cool to like see all the the windy little narrow roads and stuff like that. So, it was really awesome. But the boat ride was ridiculously fun. I'm not gonna say it's a, a speedboat by definition. It's not really a speedboat. But Buddy was going freaking fast. So, uh, anyways, it was really cool because uh, the way the waves came in, and there were some rocks around, uh, along the beach where we had to uh, board. Of course, there's no docks. There's no docks at all. So, the the guys kind of just like put all our luggage in garbage bags, and then they sort of run out as as a wave has like gone out, and they can back the boat up a little, and they throw all the luggage in. And uh, after that, they, they're they like, oh, get, you, get your left hand ready, and we're, we're going to pull you into the boat. So, of course, you can't be wearing shoes. I mean, you can, but they'll get soaking wet. So, as the waves, like, come in and out, and the boat finally sort of gets uh, pushed back towards the beach, the guys are, like, trying with all their might to keep this boat <laughs> on the beach. And uh, you just kind of got to, like, book it, run through the water, a little bit of water, maybe up to, like, just a little above the knee, and just, like, book it and just practically jump into the damn boat. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I would have taken a video of that because uh, it was pretty sweet. Like, we were going and just, like, jumping off of waves and stuff. Like, it was nothing. So, uh, anyways, it, it was really cool. I, di I didn't want to uh, bust out the cell phone or the camera because I know it would have gotten wet. So, um, anyways, unfortunately, you guys don't get to see the proof, but I do suggest both modes. If you're ever down here, take the bus. It's going to be fun. And then dish out the money and take the boat because that's also really fun. So, anyways, finally, uh, yesterday morning the, the boat left at 9 30 we arrived in Hako by 10 30 
and there was a shuttle bus uh, part of the same company that uh, took us right downtown to the bus stops and we got there and we ended up being there till about 2.30 waiting for the bus to Dominical or sorry to Campos so anyways we were just killing time and I don't know Hakla is kind of like a mini San Jose it's just it's busy there's some you know people throw trash all over the place it doesn't really have a chilled out feel to it so uh not only that but me and sarah keep having bad luck like missing the last bus and silly things like that so uh anyways we are we're just not fans of Paco. but um anyways you can see like quite a bit of tourists uh some prostitution some quads a lot of cars stuff like that I don't know I just wasn't a fan so anyway so once we were done with that uh, we finally caught the bus and Sarah was on the verge of going like I'm willing to dish out a hundred dollars to a taxi to take us down to freaking Panama at this point <laughs> so I'm really glad that we stuck around for the extra couple minutes and uh, we met this really really nice little pregnant uh, Nicaraguan girl uh, at the bus stop and she was talking to us and making conversations so uh, yeah I'm, I'm starting to learn some Spanish or at least I can sort of see by like some hand gestures and facial expressions and pointing and stuff so anyways I'm getting there I'll learn I'll learn more Spanish <laughs> um, other than that uh, yeah so we finally got on the bus got down to Campos Campos other than the exact area where the bus depot was it was a really cute town. It was like right in the middle of this jungle and uh, yeah, just like jungle hills and cliffs and people made little casas all along there and stuff. So it, it, it really was really cute town. But uh, unfortunately, while we were waiting for the transfer bus to Dominical, we, we were just at the bus depot. And the bus depot is just kind of... I don't know, it's just kind of disgusting and people spill stuff all the time, they drop trash on the ground, it was kind of half under construction, so it was just, you know, it was and just lots of people right in one little place, so anyways, I'm not going to say that it was the nicest bus depot I've ever been to, but uh, anyways, yeah, so we got out of campus, um, we were lucky enough to, to drive right by the open air hospital. Uh, the famous one in Costa Rica so anyways I, I did take a quick video of that uh, I believe with my normal camera not the, not the cell phone so that's gonna take a while to upload but um, anyways it was really cool it was very clean uh, it was made of all cement and it, it wasn't a huge facility but it was definitely definitely cool to see so Anyways, after that we uh, we kept going on the bus. I mean, at this point, <laughs> I'm pretty sure nobody wanted to sit beside us because we were sweaty, we were stinky, we were grouchy, hungry, just, you know, we were just on the damn bus. So. <laughs> Anyways, and of course there's no air conditioning on the buses. You, you can open the door, but... I mean, we were in the wind and the salt water on the boat. We were <laughs> in the open window wind uh, from uh, Hako to Kepos. We were sweating in Hako. Like, it was just, it was gross. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, uh, we finally got to Dominica. On the way here, I was surprised because the map that I had, which was pretty recent, it was lent to me by, uh, by Chuck from the Rotary Club. Uh, it said that the road wasn't paved, but the road that we took was totally paved. So I think they, they literally just did it. Of course, I couldn't really tell because it was starting to get a bit dark at that point. But uh, anyways, it was nice. Uh, there were some definitely some sketchy bridges where it would just go kind of dirt. And then the bridge was just, just wide enough for the bus. Like literally, I looked over the... The, the window like I, I looked outside and looked down and the wheel was like maybe maybe that much far away from the edge of the bridge I was just like oh my god <laughs> I'm so glad this guy knows how to drive a bridge so anyways uh, that was fun um, something super awesome that I noticed because I had my contacts in at the, during the ride um, there are fireflies here everywhere <laughs> 
Like you just drive by a field and they're just like poop, 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 poop. Uh, for some reason, I kind of remember uh, fireflies to be sort of like a yellow color, like yellow glow. But these almost seem like lead light, like almost like that cold white bluish tint. Uh, but they were there, and I know, because we stopped at one point, and they were flying around, so it wasn't like somebody just planted a bunch of solar LED lights in their yard, they, they were actually fireflies. <laughs> Anyways, that was really cool, and um, finally we got to Dominical. Uh, now, our hostel is right at the end of town, uh, but the town itself is really cute. It actually reminds me of Montezuma, it's all dirt roads. Uh, very surf, uh, surf town, very beach, relaxed, all that stuff. I'm actually a little surprised that absolutely nobody is surfing right now, but uh, that's okay because now I get to sit on the beach and make this video log. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, yeah, the, the hostel we're staying in is really, really trippy. Uh, I highly would recommend it to anybody who ever comes to Dominica, but, uh, anyways. Uh, it's called the Pyramus Beachfront uh, Hostel and it's about $10, 10, $10 per person unless you want like a bigger bed or private room obviously the price goes up but what's really cool about this place is that it's totally open air so it's got a roof right but it's like a super super tall roof maybe maybe 20 feet or so like it's a tall tall roof okay maybe not 20 feet maybe 12 feet okay 12 feet about that <laughs> um, it's a very very tall roof anyways and it's totally open all along the top and there's these like bamboo walls that are just separators that's all they are and then instead of a door you have like a curtain and then uh, your bed is actually encased in a uh, mosquito net so it's totally open there's two two main lounge areas there's one where it's just lounging over overseeing the beach and stuff and that's where you know the guy with the guitar is hanging out and he's just playing in the background people are smoking all over the place um they're having a drink there's like a charging station free coffee there there's um a distinct place for all the surfboards so you can like just like walk in the door and put up your surfboard right there uh, there's another little lounging area where it's the kitchen and the TV slash PlayStation so that's really cool because they they have like a high bar table where you can sit and uh, either eat or watch the movie like right right over the table uh, they also have like a little mini couch type thing which is all just wooden but there's pillows everywhere so you just like throw a bunch of pillows under yourself and uh, yeah watch a movie or play play um, PlayStation uh, or you can sit at this side table which you can still see the movie or you can overlook um, the sitting area and it's like right below us is this pub or restaurant type thing and its roof is just vines like just vines growing so thick so anyways you can sit at this table and overlook the vines and the vines go up the other end so anyways it's it's just really trippy very very uh very secure because they i mean they give you a little locker to lock up your actual valuables but other than that they don't allow any visitors nothing like that the door is always locked which is why i'm sporting the key um and just you know just a good vibe like everybody's so friendly if you're tired of talking to somebody you go to the other lounge area and see what they're doing somebody's always you know ready to go out people are ready to play games you know what have you so anyways it, it really is really really cool very good atmosphere so uh yeah and other than that um uh, that brings us up to this morning um yeah, I'm just at the beach now. <laughs> Me and Sarah are gonna head over to uh, into town here real quick. It's like a hundred meter walk from the hostel. Gonna head in, maybe grab some breakfast or grab some food and make some breakfast. Um, and yeah, and then the bus at 10:30 is gonna take us almost all the way to the border uh, from 10:30 till 3:30 and then we'll have to transfer there uh, onto a bus to Davies. So 
Anyways, hopefully we're still gonna make it to David tonight. There is always the possibility of us missing a bus or <laughs> some such thing, in which case we'll, we will probably have to stay one more night in uh, Costa Rica. But uh, that's not so painful. It's pretty nice. <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, sorry about the probably super shaky video as I'm talking and stuff. But uh, anyways, I'll uh, talk to you later. Pura vida, oh, which means uh, pure life.